What's going on, everybody? What's good? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto, and I'm back once again with another fantastic Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Team of the Week. That's right, Team of the Week is back, um, rewarding some great performances with some great cards with some big name players um a little bit different than last year and we'll dive into that a little bit as we get into the video but overall the change looks awesome i kind of like it and uh we'll take a look and see what we can do as far as making some coins off of some of these things but before we get into that just want to thank you if you're new here appreciate the support um if you are new subscribe to the channel just hit the subscription button below hit the little bell to get notified anytime i go live with new content you can also check me out right along there um, YouTube twitch Instagram all that good stuff um, Twitter as well basically r0 batl and I'm everywhere out there all right so come check it out um, like go for this video per usual y'all know the deal 20 likes 20 thumbs up and we'll open a bundle we'll open a team of the week bundle if you get everything that we need on this video 20 likes and we'll get to that bundle on the main account not the no money spend squad by the way um so yeah let's just jump right into it again team of the week we're gonna go over it we're gonna talk a little bit about something that is coming in the future there's two things that are gonna come in the future um involving team of the week team of the year um but let's just jump right into it let's check out what we got going on here brand new promo team of the week as i said so i already went in and uh touched touched down a little bit dipped my toes in the water so if we go over here to missions and this was all went over at GMM so I might splice in some images or screenshots from the stream um, but if we check it out right here team of the week play the game of the week player of the week team of the week hero so first one is game of the week um, you earn a team of the year token hot street token random nat team of the week player um, once you get um, once you get 12 stars so we'll check that out right now in solos Go under challenges this is, it's gonna pop up towards the top for you I already did it like I said so it's gonna be at the bottom here team of the week and there's only one challenge this week last year there was I think there was two of them that you could do where you could get a, a token if you get a certain amount of stars and you get a certain amount of things for this that, and the third this year it's different milestones um, 12 stars which is another two weeks so about every three weeks you'll get a nat team of the week base player now there is a discussion and there was mentioned this morning on gmm about a special set and under team affinity we can't see it right now but it's something that's coming in the future series two series three now here's my thought on that these cards are gonna probably be 78s right so team of the week base players that doesn't tell me anything that just tells me like the base you know player sets are going to be what they are unless I'm, I'm mistaken for what these cards are the team of the week base player is going to be the 78 overalls so <clears throat> just just keep that in mind um as we go forward and, and as we fill out some of these team affinity sets um and, and what they're going to come with now i did the challenge already as you saw there it was done four stars i'm going to go and show you guys what the rewards look like so first thing here is gonna be the Hot Streak Fantasy Pack, and that's Derwin James versus the World. That's another video coming, we'll get into that in a little bit, but I'll open this up, the Hot Streak Fantasy Pack. So basically when I won, you get four stars, you get, um, it's three stars, and this animation is awesome. I love the animation. Um, basically you get three stars for winning, if you if you played all the way on the hardest difficulty, three stars for winning the game, and a bonus star for uh, completing the bonus objective, which I believe was passed for like 150 yards. I did that, got all four stars, and with getting all four stars, not only do you get the coin rewards not only do you get the team of the year token which we will check out you also get this which is a hot streak fantasy pack this usually pops up right after you finish the challenge basically this is uh it's very similar to last year um in the playoffs or the super bowl where you pick one and if it hits then you get that coinage value if it misses you get whatever the value is on the other side um <clears throat> so for this one right here it's a russell wilson card sorry i'll, I'll take a look at it like this um, the Russell Wilson card is 322 passing yards. Now you can go ahead and do some research on it. Let's dive in and let's take a look at what's coming up next week. All right, so if we take a look at week two here for Russell Wilson, um, it is the Seattle Seahawks. They're playing the Patriots and Stephon Gilmore. Patriots, guess what? They're playing the Seattle Seahawks. So 322 passing yards against the Patriots defense or five tackles against the Seahawks. Uh, receivers and tight ends and running backs, all that good stuff. 
I'm going to hit Russell Wilson, 322 passing yards. So if I get that right, I get 1.5K coins. That's a little cheap on EA's behalf, if I do say so myself. Um, 1.5 thousand coins. This is auctionable as well. Um, you can also trade it. So I guess that's cool. But the rewards for it, I mean, what are we talking about here? That's a thousand coins. I mean, come on, we can do a lot better. Um, so yeah, so that's just that's one of the things you get as a bonus. Hopefully they increase the odds there. I mean, 1.5k coins kind of embarrassing, honestly. Um, so that's the solos the solos are pretty pretty straightforward get in get them done you have a week to do them by the way they're they are time gated so as you see there um on week one you uh 9 22 at 10 30 a.m so you have about just about a week a little under a week to get them done so like i said four stars one star gets the team of the year token three stars get the hot streak fantasy pack and then you get 200 coins bonus um if you get all four stars done which is again a ridiculously low reward like 200 coins like what um anyway so Where's the other reward at that we got out of the solo? Well, it is right here, the team of the year token. So right here is the collectible, team of the year collectible. Um, oh, sorry, that's the Russell Wilson. This is the team of the year token collectible. Now this is pretty cool, this looks fancy. Um, exchange 14 team of the year tokens for a team of the year player in January. Now I can't do anything with this. This is just stuck there, but this looks cool. And if this is what the artwork is going to be for this card, for these cards, but when they come out, that's going to be sick. So there's your team of the year token. That's the other thing you get. That is probably more important than the hot streak pack um, or anything else. That team of the year token at the end of the year, that's exactly what you're going to want. Um, I'm going to quick sell this real quick. Now, after the team of the week is done and you got the missions all done, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is maybe like dabble in some package. Um, um, so before we go into the sets, we'll open some packs and we'll see what we can get. Limited is in stores for two days, 24 hours, or 48 hours, excuse me. It is TJ Watts. So he is the Steelers linebacker. And we'll go over into how they picked it in a little bit once we go over his card. But TJ Watt is the limited. And we're going to have one uh, every week, I believe, when these come out. Here we go, and we got nothing. We got one of the lower overall Ryan Kerrigan's. So that's gonna go into a set, which we will dive into a little bit when we get over there. Gonna open up one more pack, see if we get luck right here on the YouTube video. Gold's off, gold's off rip, but the golds are gonna be useful in, in one way. We'll check that out too. 82 Adam Thielen. Okay, I'm not mad at that. It's not too bad. All right. Oh, another one. Okay, 78. So I got two Team of the Week cards in there. That's not bad. I've seen people only get one. So I'll take that. Two Team of the Week cards in that first pack there. Um, so these are the only two packs right now for Team of the Week. Team of the Week bundle, Team of the Week pack. This bundle is for 50 beans. Um, you get everything there as far as it's the same setup for Team of the Week pack. You get nine of them. And then you get a Team of the Week fantasy pack week one. So basically, you get your choice from any of the cards that are coming out for week one. And we'll check out what that is. If you go down the store, nothing much here being offered to us like i said only these two packs are the ones that are coming out for team of the week so as we make our way down we can go ahead and check out these sets right we'll check out the sets before we dive into the cards on the auction house on the market so if you go on down here and like i said earlier the team affinity stuff there is a third subcategory it'll pop up probably right here um there was a third section here and there's nothing here now to put it in kralo said on the stream that it was going to come um at the end of season two or series two something goes series two so just keep that in mind it will pop up there we don't know what goes in it so as far as i'm concerned don't really sweat yourself too much we will get more information as that comes out but right now we're really focused on team of the week right here so if we go uh, check it out, Team of the Week sets are right here. So like I said earlier, uh, TJ Watt is limited, Steelers linebacker. Player of the Week is Devonta Adams. So this is how it's broken up this year. You're getting basically four hero cards, a sense. Four hero cards, master cards, whatever you want to call them, right? Two of them are going to be legends, or as I like to call it, the classic players, classic weeks. So this is two, uh, two players. These are two players that had classic performances in week one in their career. So in 2010, Aaron Foster had 231 rushing yards for three TDs. And in 2005, Bryant Young had four tackles and three sacks. Um, and then right here, Devontae Adams this week, week one, and a win over the Vikings. Um, he had 14 receptions, 156 yards, and two touchdowns. So it's going to be basically three guys plus the limited. Like I said, again, TJ Watt is limited. So we're getting two new guys, two throwback guys. Something to, to consider here, um, at Devontae Adams, week one player, is a wide receiver, offensive side of the ball. TJ Watt, defensive side of the ball. Arian Foster, offensive side of the ball. Bryant Young, defensive side of the ball. So what I'm saying is basically 
probably next week this is what's going to happen. We're going to have player of the week. It's going to be a defensive player. Assume a flashy name, big name, somebody who had a big, big standout performance. Um, assume the offensive hero. Obviously, he's going to be an offensive classic performance. And the defensive hero is going to be another defensive classic classic performance. Excuse me. Um, what I would, what I would um, assume, though, is that right here for the defense, we're probably not going to get another DT. We're going to get a flashy name right here for the offense. We might get an offensive lineman. How are they going to pick that? I have no clue. Um, maybe pick a tackle by pancakes. Who knows? Um, but yeah, just something to consider as we go forward, you know, especially as you're building your team. What do you need? If you know it's going to be an offensive week coming up for team of the week, maybe it's time to rack up some coins and hope that they do a receiver, a tight end, halfback. Somebody has a big week and you can go ahead and make the most of that. So just something to keep in mind there. It's, um, it's kind of obvious too here on the sets if you look at it break it down a little bit all these guys are offensive players so russell wilson here's that feeling card that we got earlier um we can throw him in there let's see how much he's going for on the market 18k or about 20k for an 82 we probably can uh no it looks pretty filtered actually as it is right now so as more people buy these cards we'll get a regulated price there so about 20k for those um, so you're going to get about 60K there. Josh Jacobs, who's a 78, along with Ryan Kerrigan, is going to be 3K. So three, four, 75K. And then you're going to get two Russell Wilson's cards, uh, which are 86s, and those are going to be about 90K. So you're looking at almost 300K for an 89 Adrian uh, Foster. So what are these cards that we're looking at here, right? Because we already we already said they're, they're, they're the hero cards that came out are the uh, Aaron Foster and, and um, Devontae Adams, uh, all, the, all those guys. So what are these cards? These cards are very similar to, let's, let's call them usable collectibles, right? So these cards are going to be stuff that you collect and you can use on your team. So if you really want to use a Russell Wilson quarterback card, you can. You can go and buy this Russell Wilson card, pull out of packs, whatever it is. It's an 86 over Overall, you can use it on your team, compare it against other players. I'll compare it against my Lamar Jackson, for example, 90 overall Lamar. You know, Russell Wilson's, you know, there's, look at that, throw I guess you mid, it stacks up. It's, it's not a horrible card, but it's an 86 and all it is is a collectible. This card does not go into a power up for Russell Wilson and we'll explain what the other layer of that is. Um, but this does not go into a power up for Russell Wilson, nothing like that. All it does basically is go into these sets and you have them on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball um as you see here stefan gilmore ryan kerrigan chris jones so we're gonna have six guys every week that are gonna be the lower level cards so similar to last year how we had a bunch of you know big old sheet where we had to put this guy in there and this guy was 78 they eliminated that and they said we're gonna pick six guys that are kind of standouts if you will not exactly hero cards even though some of them can get up there to that 89 overall russell wilson in particular chris jones up to 88 um but they're standout players and they will be able to get uh, a plus one in their overall in their power up and also they'll get lower level cards which will be similar to collectibles that will go into these sets to fill out Bryant Young to fill out Arian Foster and to fill out Devontae Adams now you see here offense defense offense offense defense and defense so it's going to be interesting to to decide what you want um these are also repeatable and then down here is another interesting set a 70 to 86 overall i'm gonna see if i have enough cards to throw in there maybe some of them are power-ups and i'm getting tricked right now but let's see if i have enough to throw in there for the thing here two three no i don't think i have enough i don't have enough right now uh but we'll we'll we'll, we'll build up some exchange sets in the future which will be interesting too if you have you know enough coins and you want to dabble into the uh get a player pack mode you can jump in there and build them up and then fill out this team of the week set and maybe sell off whatever you get out of that um so yeah so those are the sets that's basically what it is just recap overview of everything we got four hero cards one of them's an ltd one of them's a player of the week both are current players that ltd by the way is a current player who had a big performance in that specific week in past years okay so uh, TJ Watt had a big week one performance in a past year, not this week per se, even though the Steelers did uh, kill my Giants. Um, he had a big performance in past week, in past years, and during week one. Um, so you get, again, four heroes. Uh, one is an LTD. Three of them are fillable through sets. 
um, all the cards that go into the sets are lower level cards. They are collectible, usable collectibles, like I said, and they're going to be standout players that had uh, good performances throughout the week. Now, the interesting thing here with that is, um, like I said earlier, you're going to get a plus one to those specific players overalls. Now, where we're getting a little interesting, a little dicey with it is what happens when we get a repeat good Russell Wilson performance and we don't have any other cards that had either a good week or that deserve the power up uh, expansion, anything like that like what happens then right um also too what happens if we get a good card that doesn't have a power a player that's had a couple good weeks doesn't have a power up what are we going to do then are we going to be able to get that new power up are we going to be able to get new stuff here for that card what what's going to be the the uh the you know the the recipe here that's going to get us um higher overalls for some of these cards that are going to get you know have a big game you know and they might not have a power up card so um just something to consider going forward so we'll check this out though josh jacobs again and he's one of the team of the week standout cards. He's one of the six that go into the sets that gets a boost in his overall. So as you can see there, there's this artwork, his brand new artwork for the team of the week. Um, once you get up to, I believe that's 330 training, you get all the way up to an 84. Obviously, you have to put his core elite card in there. So that's something to consider if you really want him on your team, whether you're a Raiders fan or uh, just a big Josh Jacobs fan. I am. Uh, he had a big game, three touchdowns. So um, a little upgrade. You know, he goes up to an 84. He gets a plus one in his overall o OVR. He gets a front art there, too. So it's going to be Josh Jacobs, Ryan Kerrigan, like you said, Chris Jones, Russell Wilson. Um, all these guys are going to get plus ones to the OVR. Anybody selected as a standout player for that week. And we'll take a look at Kerrigan as well. It's going to be very, very similar here. We're going through all the way down to the bottom. 82 overall, Ryan Kerrigan. There's the uh, updated photo for the Washington football team. Um, 82 overall. Um, 79 strength he's going to have there. Um, block shed, block shed, block shed. Box shedding is going to be up to 74, so it's not great, but you know, it's an 80, low 80 card, so it's not going to be anything spectacular. So that's basically it there for the for the power ups and, and and how team of the week is going to work with those cards. Again, just to you know keep your keep your head in the space of what about these power ups? What what's going to happen later on? We're not getting these power ups through solos. We're not getting these power ups through anything else besides what's on the market or we get through packs. So keep that in mind as you're pulling packs throughout the year. Um, we're going to end here by taking a look at some of these cards, some of the team of the week standout cards that we got here. Um, uh, Again, Kerrigan, Josh Jacobs. There's a collectible for Russell Wilson that's selling for 4,000. I don't understand that. Maybe people are buying it. I'm not sure. Um, there's another collectible there for Stefan Gilmore. I'm not sure. Maybe people are buying these. Maybe it's uh, an idea that we want to, you know, dabble into in the future. Um, but if we go down, go down, go down, there's the cards, the, the lower level collectibles there. Russell Wilson, Stefan Gilmore, Chris Jones. Um, Stefan Gilmore is the other one that gets up to like an 89 overall, 90 overall. Um, so we'll go and check out the higher level cards. See how they stack up. I'm going to say right immediately. I'm probably not going to go either for either guys. I just got a DT at that high OVR. I just got a running back at that high OVR. I'm not interested. Maybe it's going to be a good opportunity to flip some, some, you know, some cards. Who knows? Let's see though. Um, here he is in comparison to Limbaugh Joseph. One higher overall, but his strength isn't as high. Block shed isn't uh, close. Um, power moves, finesse moves are good, but um, tackle play rec's good. Excel's good, but I'm not going to waste the time or effort to try and get it. But, you know, it could be a card that you need to plug up the middle for your DT. Um, he's selling for about 200K right now. Is that what that is? 200K? Yeah, 215K. Okay, it's not too bad. Aaron Foster's up at 222. Remember, it costs about 360K to fill these out. So it might be in your best bet to sell the pieces instead of trying to build these cards up and then buying the card at a good price. So here's Aaron Foster compared against Todd Gurley, who some have said is a glitchy card. Um, 88 speed, 89 Excel, 89 agility. Uh, I'm sorry, 80, 88 speed, 89 Excel, 88 agility. 86 carrying, uh, 74 catching. Uh, Arian Foster's 74 catching is a little low, I would think. But, you know, it's an 89 overall, not his best card. Change of direction, the cod is a 90. Trekking isn't as high, but it's an 82. It's not horrible. Break tackles an 85, same as Gurley. So, you know, it could be interesting. A little bit faster, just a smidge faster. They're about the same height. They're probably about the same weight as well. So, uh, just something to look at there as far as the running back is concerned. If you need a running back, again, there's a lot of running back options. Same as DT. A lot of options out there. Same with wide receiver. Many wide receiver options out there. Uh, Devontae Adams selling about 
for about 200K. He might be somebody I actually add to my team. I kind of need another good uh, wide receiver two here. I love me some Drew Bennett, but uh, that Tay Adams at 6'1", that's going to be really good. What I need there as a uh, wide receiver two. Um, so an 86 speed, same as Andre Johnson. He's a little bit faster than Drew Bennett, a little bit slower than Tyler Lockett, same speed as Michael Pittman. Uh, 88 catching. Catch traffic, spec catch aren't as good, but that short route, medium route, that's beautiful. 90 and 88. I love it. That's going to be solid there for little slants, little little drags, little, little things like that. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if we can get him um, with some route technician, things like that. So it's a, that's a solid card. It's not too bad of a card. If we add him to the team, that'd be awesome. He'd be a great addition to the squad. Probably would make a lot of big catches for me too. Honestly, as a wide receiver two, wide receiver three. And last but not least, the LTD. I don't think he's on here. We got probably got to go 90. Excuse me here. TJ Watteson, a million coins already. Whoa, 90 overall, TJ Watt. And that game I referenced, by the way, if we back out here and see it, um, in 2018, Steelers versus Browns, a tie game. He had 10 tackles, three sacks. So, shout out to TJ Watt for having a huge game a couple of years ago. Uh, 82 speed, 74 strength, 85 tackle, 90 play rec, 82 block sheds. So it's Mitch Lowe, but you know, Doerville there, 72. So it's not um, anything too bad in comparison to Doomerville, obviously. 93 finesse, 82 power moves. It's not too bad. This car's pretty damn good. 6'4, he's huge. Uh, play rec, I would love to see his zone coverage and, and his man coverage, but you know how EA is. They're hiding all the stats that are important or semi-important or stuff that we think is important. Um, so yeah, it looks like a great card. So those are the four heroes for this week. That's it. That's the, the four heroes, the four big guys, the four big names, the names that everybody wants to see. That that TJ Watt, man. One million coins. That's going to be interesting, interesting, interesting. We'll see how the market reacts to all this stuff. All right, so that's it. That's all. That's Team of the Week, Week 1. I know it's a bunch of info to go over. Let's just recap it a little bit. Number one, we got solos. In those solos, we're getting Team of the Year tokens. We're getting a quick little collectible that allows us to gamble a little bit, if you will, um, win either 1,000, 1 1.5, 1,500 1, coins. I had to make sure I specifically said it was 1,500 coins or 500 if we take the L. Um, get those done. We also, every three weeks or so, we're going to get a base player, which again, I believe is just a 78 overall player. It's probably not going to do anything crazy except for help you finish these sets that you need. Um, after that, we have four heroes. One is an LTD, TJ Watt. One is the player of the week, Devontae Adams. And two of them are classic players. Uh, not so much legends, but just classic guys, memorable players, Aaron Foster, Bryant Young. Um, all three of the guys as you see here Devonte young and foster all have sets that you need to complete by using lower level collectibles lower level cards um usable collectibles as i like to call them uh russell wilson stefan gilmore tops those each both of those cards also because they were selected as standouts for the team of the week this year they will get a plus one to the overall in their power up path and how that's handled in the future as far as like other cards picking cards that don't have power ups or um you know what we're going to be able to do once russell wilson gets a 95 overall unsure unsure at this moment i assume we'll use training to bypass it or some, something like that so just keep that in mind so yeah that's about it i mean we can't get anything free right away we can do the solos we can get all this stuff done but a lot of it's gonna probably be grinding and work in the market work in the auction house things like that so let's keep that in mind as we get through team of the week it's gonna be a long year oh one other thing to keep in mind too as you go through for team of the year it's not available here and we don't see it yet in the exchange sets but um you need 14 of the 17 weeks i believe that was set on stream and i also believe it says it here um in the challenges I think it does. I, I, I don't want to misguide anybody and assume that. Um, yeah, nothing here with the token. I'm gonna go ahead and check the missions one time and see if there's anything mentioned with the token before we end the video. I know it's a long ending. I'm very, very sorry, but I just want to make sure this is said right and properly to everybody. We have the, yeah, I don't see anything here. Just make sure you collect those tokens, man. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Play, um, you will need 14 out of 17 total team of the year tokens that earn a team of the year player in January. So keep that in mind. 14 of those fancy looking tokens. Keep that in mind, all right? Um, we're gonna end the video right here. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Take care of each other. Peace.